In today's video for DaVinci Resolve, we'll look at how you can overlay one video on top of another. We'll look at the basic case, and then I'll show you some more advanced effects. I have this video of a golf course here. Let's add a picture-in-picture -picture effect of a golfer. Up here in my media pool, I have a video of a golfer. I'll click and drag it onto my timeline. So I'll put it right there. Now if I play my video, you'll see it switches to the golfer video because it's on top of the other one. So let's resize it. I'll select the video here, and then I can click the transform tools here. So I'll click this. And now we have our on canvas tools for controlling the video. I can resize it, and I can reposition it. To get more advanced options, I can click the inspector tab. So I'll click this here, and I have additional options to modify my video here. For example, maybe I could crop it. I could rotate it if I wanted to. I could change the zooms here also but I'll just leave the basic settings unchanged. Now there's a few other tricks we could do to make our video look a little more professional. We could fade in and out the golfer video. And we can do that by dragging these handles here. I'll drag this to the left. And when I play the video now, it will fade in. So you can see it fades in. And I could do the same thing for the end if I wanted. So now it'll fade out. And you can always go back later and modify these controls as you like. Let's now add a drop shadow effect to our video. I'll click the effects tab. I'll click the open effects option here. And I'll make sure my search tool is selected. And I'll click shadow. I can click and drag the drop shadow over my golfer clip. And now when I play it, you can see there's a shadow behind it. If you want to modify the shadow properties, once again, use the inspector tab. So if my golfer clip selected, make sure inspector is on. And before we looked at this video tab, now you want to click on the Effects tab here. And this will let you modify any effects you've applied to your clip. So I can change the shadow strength. I can change the angle. The distance. I can change the options to whatever I like. And if you want to get it back to its default state, once again, just click on this circular arrow here. And it resets it. And you can totally turn off the shadow effect by clicking this here. But I'll leave it on because I think it's pretty cool. So we have a fade in with our shadow effect. Now sometimes you have video footage that some effect you want to apply to your video. For example, I have this scratches effect here. It's kind of a cool effect that you could add to some footage if you want to make it seem older. But how do you actually get it to work? Well, to get this to look right, we have to change the composite mode. This is called a blend mode in some other programs. So with my scratches clip selected here, I'll go to the inspector tab. And if you scroll down, you can see the composite option here. Now currently it's normal, which means it's just playing our video on top of the one below it. But I can change it to other things. Now for our video, we want to filter out the black and keep the white part. Typically add or screen are good modes to choose. So I'll select add. And now the composite mode has changed. So let's play through the video now. Now you can see it's a much better effect. It's keeping the white part of our video, but removing the black. Here's a case where we want to do the opposite. We want to keep the black but remove the white. So once again, I'll select my clip. I have the inspector tab open. I'll go down to the composite mode. Let's select add. And it doesn't really look good in this case. Let me put it back to normal. When you want to keep black and get rid of white, the multiply mode is a good one to try. So I'll choose that one. And now if I play it, you can see it looks better. Another one to try is Color Burn. Let's try that. This one is like Multiply, but it helps preserve the color on the edges a little bit better. So I think this one's pretty cool. Blend modes can be a little overwhelming at first, but over time you start to have favorites that you go back to. If there's any DaVinci Resolve topic you'd like to see a video on, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.